Hello, Aries. Hello to all of my Aries out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the first half of November. This reading, again, is for all of the Aries out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For the first half of November. November the 1st to... November 15. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, you are welcome to stay. All you will have to do is hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you are notified when new videos are posted. If you are watching this as well as a returning viewer and you have not subscribed and the readings resonate with your situation, of course, or someone in your environment, subscribe as well. Comment below. Let me know your story. Okay. We have the Queen of Swords here. The Queen of Swords. I have the Queen of Swords here. Okay, Aries. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. So we have the Nine of Swords. The Double Card, Capricorn Energy. Okay, have a Capricorn in your environment. The Six of Cups. The Death Card, Scorpio Energy is here. The Eight of Wands, that's your energy. The Strength card, Leo's energy is here. The Queen of Wands, that's your energy. The Three of Cups. And we have three additional cards, which are the Three of Swords, the Ten of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. I'm sorry. This is the Seven of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So some of you could be thinking about starting a new beginning. Cutting things out of your life that no longer serves you. That leaves you feeling... Um, anxious, leaves you sitting up at night or um, thinking about it. I feel like some of you are cutting things out of your life that no longer serves you. People, things, because these people and things were toxic. They made you feel anxious. Someone could be, could have been manipulating you, um, just toxic behavior. Toxic behavior. And you cut them off. You cut them out of your life. You could want to reconnect with someone from your childhood. With this Six of Cups. Maybe a past life love. Or the situation... Has something to do with children. So I feel like by you cutting things and people off that no longer serves you, it opens the door for you to reconnect with this person. Doesn't have to be um like a relationship it could be a, a family member like someone that you were close to as coming up in your um childhood and this person is helping you go through some type of transformation you could be going through some type of transformation at this time and i feel like this transformation is occurring quickly like things are happening for you at a fast pace right now. 
but you needed the courage and the strength to take the action with the Queen of Swords. You needed to um you needed strength and courage to in order to do this. So I feel like by you taking this action, I feel like you're in a better place right now, celebrating your transformation. Could be having a couple drinks, partying. I mean, this is a time that um, I feel like we should try to have as much fun as we can with all that's going on in the world. So I feel like you're celebrating at this time. Um, I feel like the people that were cut out of your life or the person is heartbroken, sad, because they could have lost their family. Like, you could have walked away and left this person. Someone could have lost their happy home. Yeah. The Seven of Swords. Someone's walked away. Because someone was being toxic. Manipulative, overindulging in things. And it left you. And the energies could be uh could go either way. This could be vice versa. It could be you or the cross watcher if there is a cross watcher here. So where's the double card here? throat is so dry. Why is the double card here for the sign of Aries? Okay. So you have a lot of swords. We have the ace of swords. Could be um dealing with an air sign, an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini, but I feel like you either like you cut to the chase. You cut something out. You cut to the chase. You spoke your truth. You told the truth. <clears throat> that could have been an argument. This person could have been argumentative. Or these people. But I feel like you cut them off. And when you cut them off, it caused them to be heartbroken. Yeah, look. All of the cards are saying the same thing. You move forward alone. And that's why you're able to go through this transformation. Someone could may have been juggling with the Six of Pentacles. <clears throat> Someone may have been juggling jobs. Just maybe doing a little bit too much. Someone, I feel like someone was really like focused on work because we have the Eight of Pentacles, but right behind the Six of Pentacles. So if someone was focused on work, like working, maybe working too much. Like having their hands in a lot of things. Why is this um, Three of Swords here? Why is the Three of Swords here for the sign of Aries? Okay. Yeah. Work. King of Swords. Entrepreneurial. Maybe someone is trying to start their own business. And it's taking a long time with the Knight of Pentacles.
and some this this sore energy again. So maybe you or the person apply the energy as if it's to your story. Someone was behaving immaturely. I feel like someone was trying to restrict the other person from going out doing this work or somebody was trying to block this other person from going out or something. Let's see. Why is this Eight of Swords here? Spirit, why is the Eight of Swords here? Hey, like some, someone was doing too much. Like working, could have been like overworking or something. And the other person was trying to stop Aries. This is your energy. So I feel like Because Aries are like, like to control some of them or like, likes to be in control. So I feel like this is you trying to restrict someone from going out to do a job or something like that. Let me see. Yeah, I feel like this is you trying to block this other person. So maybe you are the toxic one. And this person... This person turned their back on you. Yeah. But some type of transformation took place in this relationship. Did someone turn their back? Maybe left a home. But someone wants to come in with a new beginning in love with this Ace of Cups. Someone wants to start over. Because they have lots of love for you. Like they are the love that they have for you. Or you them is overflowing. And they don't want to um, let this go. Someone doesn't want to let this go. Let's get some more cards from another deck. Alright. Spirit, can I have a card for the sign of Aries? And I have a card for the sign of Aries. Okay. Taking a risk, new phase, and a new adventure. So maybe with this Ace of Cups, you and this person is going to start over and have a new phase in your relationship. Why, Spirit, can I have a card for the sign of Aries? I feel like someone is manifesting at this time. Seeking answers about this relationship. Could be getting advice from other people. Okay. Someone could be getting advice from other people because they want to come up with a resolution. They want to balance things out, want justice in a situation. This person wants to come back together with you or you them. Could have been, um, you could have been arguing and it caused some type of breakup. Or a separation, or maybe you stop communicating or something. But I'm not. I'll leave it at that. Aries, this is your reading for the first half of November. Comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe. Be safe out there. I'm sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy to you as well as your family. I thank you for watching. 
Enjoy the rest of this week, and I will see you next time. Bye.